Today, let's learn the Centauri knot, one of the best knots for tying heavy line to your tackle. This fast and simple knot can be used on hooks, swivels, weights, or anything you need to tie heavy line to. That being said, I'll also go over a specific situation where you should never use this knot. So make sure to watch the whole video all the way to the end so you don't make that mistake. So getting right into it, I'll first demonstrate this knot using high contrast line, and then I'll tie it again with very heavy leaders so you can see that as well. So the first step is to take your tag end and run it through the eye of your hook and give yourself a decent length of tag end to work with. Now pinch the base of your hook and the base of your knot so you can work with it. Now, take your finger and run underneath your main line to grab your tag end and bring it around and in front of your line, which creates a loop, okay? So you're, you're pinching this and you will take the slack out and you, you basically size your loop the size you want it, which I like to make it a little smaller than a dime, but that's about what I like. Now I'll show you this again from the top. You wanna take your finger behind the main line and then gather up the tag end and bring it around and in front like so and then if you need to resize the loop you can you just cinch it down a little bit then you want to do that one final time one final time which creates the third loop and what you have are three loops right in a row so what you want to do, take your tag end, run it through all three loops together, all three loops, like so. And all you want to do is take most of the slack out of this, wet the line, and then you can pull it all the way down to the hook and give it a pull, and it'll all cinch down in place. Final step, as always, is to trim your tag end. And don't trim all the way down to the knot because if a big fish comes and pulls hard enough and it can pull that tag end down through your knot, your knot will come undone, you'll lose the knot, lose the fish. All right, let's look at this knot one more time, but with heavy monofilament line. So in this case, this is 100 pound test. You can also use very heavy fluorocarbon for this and it works just as well. So you take your tag end, run it through the eye of the hook, and you're gonna to wanna to give yourself a lot of tag end to work with. Now you pinch the base right here, and then you come under your main line and you bring this around and back to the front, creating your loop. Now you can pull to shorten your loop a little bit. Okay, and then you take your finger and go behind the main line and down and create your loop. So that's loop number two. Okay, about the same size, a little smaller than a dime. Now take your finger, not in front, but behind the main line again. Wrap it around, and you've made three loops. Now what you wanna do, holding those in place, take your tag end, you can let go of your knot if you need to, and run your tag end through all three of those. Okay, pull the slack out, all your three loops are there, and then you can slowly cinch it down. When most of the slack is gone, you can wet your line, like so. And what you can do is pull your main line so it goes down to the knot, and it'll cinch together. Now here's a situation where you never wanna use this knot. If you intend to tie your line directly to your tackle and you're presenting a jig, lure, or live bait, and it needs to have some action in the water, you do not want to use this knot. The reason is it creates a very firm connection with the tackle, which will stop it from presenting correctly in the water. If you wanna know how to tie the fastest and easiest knot that works best for that situation, check out the video above. Aside from that, I really hope this video was helpful to you. Press subscribe to see more like it, and thanks again for watching.